G'day, how you going? Ian Harris here from Australia, aka Ian Appless, your acrylic guru. You're just about to watch me film this tutorial. So you'll get, this is a video showing you behind the scenes of me actually moving the camera, getting things done, washing the brushes and that. Behind the scenes of one of my videos, okay? It's a bit different and a lot of fun to watch, okay? Um, probably maybe one or two little swear words, nothing bad, all right? So step on board and have some fun. G'day Steve, how are you? I'll feed you when I'm finished this video. I've got to get ready to make a tutorial. So I'm just um, getting ready. Just got another camera over there set up so you can see. This will go behind the scenes. And this is a tutorial 220, I think it is, by memory. So it's going to be like a Thailand beach. I get the iPhone already. And this is what I've got to do. Now I'll share the screen with my laptop here. Wrong me screen. camera in its little holster there and plug the power in because it's on for quite a while so I don't want the battery to go flat. I'll turn that aircon off because it's quite noisy and I'll do my intro. I've got to... Wait a minute Steve. first. Camera's over there. There we go. I can see myself on the monitor. All right. Polite mannerism. G'day. How you going? Ian Apples here. You're acrylic guru from Australia. Welcome to my video channel. Glad you can join me today. I've got a landscape layout. I'll put some sizes up there for you in centimeters and in inches. And we'll also get the colours going up the screen there as well. So as you can um, write them down. And the best way to challenge my tutorials is to watch it once or maybe a few times to know what you're going to paint along with. So then you can start painting along with me, alright? So get on over here and we'll have a look at what we're going to do, alright? Come on! Okay, let's pause. So, should I pencil it in? Let's try that. Okay, I've just lightly drawn in a horizon line and the big rocky island here and just where my water's going to be, okay? And we're going to have a sky as well with some beautiful clouds. What do I need? I want the white. So I'll get that. Ooh. Oh. I'm going to do half at a time. Where's me? And some phalo blue for the sky. Alright, so let's come down here. 
I've got me flowing white paint here. That's soft student craft paint, poster paint, whatever you want to call it. It's just not the good quality artist paint out of a tube. It's just from a bottle. And I want to condition my sky area. So I've got the retarder mixed in there. If you don't know what retarder is, it'll slow down the drying time of acrylic paints. Slow down the drying time of your acrylic paint. Okay, so our sky is going to be here. Now, I know me rocks there, but I'm just going to do the sky area for now. And I can paint that rock in front of it later. That way I'll get all the colours flowing across the canvas the way I want. So I'm getting all this pushed into the tooth of the canvas. And those of you that might not know what the teeth of a canvas is, you know, we can't assume because we know something that everybody else knows it. There's some people out there that might not know what the tooth of a canvas is. That's the cloth, the weaving cloth, the lumps and bumps in the weaving cloth. We call it the tooth. Now I'll leave that. Okay, so we'll bring this down there. Oh, I want the grey too, for some clouds. Just a bit of beautiful clouds, so I'll get a bit of grey ready. And I want to try the permanent lens ring this time as well, just for the, the debris sake. Right, okay. Uh, let's go for Now, without cleaning that brush, because I want it to lighten up the blue, I've got phalo blue. I'm going to load that up on both sides of this brush. And we'll start at the top, get the top, the darker side of the blue, and we're going to bring it down to the horizon line. And with a bit of luck, it's going to come a bit lighter. And if it doesn't come a bit lighter, well, then you make it lighter, okay? It's that easy. And I'll show you how to make it lighter if you don't know. Now, see the edges, how they're not quite there? Just, <laughs> just do that. And then stroke them back. That way you've got the colour everywhere. Now, yes, we would like a bit more lighter down the bottom because it is a bit heavy in blue. So we'll pick up some more of this white, but we might need some more, because this is, yeah, see, it's very, very blue. Where's some white? Okay, I've just picked up some more of that flowing white to get the, there we go, and that's going to sink into that blue, lightening it up to give a realistic sky colour blue. And down to our horizon line, which is a lot lighter, which creates the sphere, the atmosphere in the sky, and giving you that sphere shape. So when you're looking out there, you've got that sphere, the dome, whatever you call it, you know what all right. Gonna wash that. do when the camera's off. I'll go and clean each brush so they're not dirty at the end. 
Now, let me see. Uh, oh, that's right, the horizon color. Yes, so get that down there. Okay, so. All right, now I want to make the polluted horizon sky area. So I've got some permanent alindrin. I just want a little bit in my grey, just to mix up that colour. Alright, and that'll give our... You can do this another way, but this is just a simple, easy way to show you beginners how to get this polluted colour, alright? So, I will grab just the littlest... I will grab a bit of, um, I'll just dip that brush into some retarder there, just so I can get that to flow into that colour on the board. Okay, my horizon line somewhere here, so I want this just coming up the painting like so. Start from the bottom. Pushing it in. Now this, you don't want this very loud. You don't want it really bright and out there. You just want it, a hint of it. It's subtle. Less is more. Okay, now I'm just using a small filbert here. Find a brush that works for you. And I'm pushing that up into there. And I've got that mauvey, purpley, grey colour in the horizon line. Okay. Where did my tea towel go? Where did that go? There it is. <clears throat> now, what do we want? Clouds. Oh, yes. We need some more grey for the clouds and some white. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, I don't use much of that quadacridone magenta. No, what was it? Permanent alindrin. Now we want some clouds. Okay. Now, we're going to put some clouds into this sky. So I'll pick up some white, titanium white out of the tube and we'll create our clouds. So we'll create some, I'm going to have that island about there, so I don't want to be too much. I'm just going to put something here, because this is going to be blended down to the horizon. So I want a mass of white there, just like that maybe. And we want to grab a blending brush and a paper towel and tickle and blend that down into that atmosphere there, leaving the top there. But don't leave the top the way it laid from your brush. If it needs changing and manipulating in a way, like here I feel, can you see that? Yeah, I'll look at my monitor there. I'm going to manipulate that a bit. Just push it and there we go. Tickle the top there. And this can be really blended down into that horizon there. And that's long way away, way away, Cloud. Beautiful, nice and easy. All right. All right. Now, we want to get some sand. So I've just cleaned that synthetic brush. And I want some very light yellow ochre in that white just to create my beach sand. I'm quite happy using these tones for my beach sand. All right. And I want to paint that 
make this into the turquoise without destroying it too much. Just like that. And now I will manipulate the turquoise and that into each other. What your brush if you need to. Where are we going? I want to bring about, I want to bring some more of that into the water there. Yeah, that's it. Just into there. Wipe the brush. Just so as I can. There we go. Because that'll create the underneath. Now we're ready to put our island landmass in here, so I want to map that in. Everything's been dried. So I'll just dampen my brush a little bit. I've got some raw umber here. Okay. And we want this to just map in our island. Slash rock. Where are we now? Now I want to come up to about here. Okay? And I want to start coming off the painting about there. Come up and down. And pretty much clip it down there, okay? So that's pretty much where I want to go. So I'm gonna just get the top rough ready, doesn't matter, because it's all gonna be have some greenery in there. Now I want this a bit beyond the water level there. And we can use our stick because you want your horizon line reasonably level. That way everything looks proper. So we'll get this That's where I want my oh. And then we're just going to block this in and dry it, okay? Before we get too carried away, I want to pick up a bit of white on my knife and carefully have the water, not too thick, hitting the bottom of this island. And then I'm going to grab my flat fan brush. It's not a fat, flat fan brush, it's a flat and it's dampened a bit because I want to turn that line that I've just put in there into film. 
just hitting the bottom of it, softening it. Oh yeah, that's happening beautifully. Now I'm going to go along a bit, wipe it back, and come from this side now, just so it doesn't look like a big, thick, hard line. That's good titanium white out of the tube I use there. And see the flat brush with a bit of water in it allowed that to turn into film. Okay, just like that. That dark colour I mixed up with the turquoise and the blue, I've just got some on a um, what do you call it? Filbert. It's more filbert brush. Just something, I might have to put that white line back because I forgot to get some sort of depth here. It's not a it's not a mirror image reflection like you get on a beautiful lake because this is the ocean, but we're going to get some sort of value under the water there. And I want to just kind of get something like that there. that white line back because this should have went on first. Need some sort of reflection there, otherwise the detail police will go hey, and yeah alright. All right, now I've just put that line back there. I've dried that, what I've just put on, and I'm making me film again. There we go, look at that, turn it into film. And you could probably put some of this over there as well, if you want. Where are we? Come on. 
Now we're just going to finish it off by putting the green on our island there. And to keep it simple, I'm going to just map it in with forest green, so I've dampened my brush. Now I've got this flat brush and it's all flared out, it makes a beautiful scenery brush for me. So use what brush. you feel is going to make a nice scenery for you and I want to sort of come up now this is you're mapping in the green here now it's a bit dark don't go too solid at the top keep some stuff open like that okay canopy tops poking up and I want to bring this down now everything is dried on here and while I'm using this brush it makes for a beautiful scenery you know and we're going to come down the mountain dribble down the mountain is it a mountain or a rock or an island i don't know mountain and our photo will come down somewhere there this is what they're like in the islands in thailand there they look beautiful if you've never been there go for a holiday And we'll put some down here as well. I want to sort of damp it all on. I'm dribbling down the mountain, or dribbling down the hill, I should The island. I really don't know what they're called. If they're, uh, they are classed as an island. We can bring this all the way. I've got a bit of a bold spot there. They would, they're, they're classed as islands, but they're, they're like big limestone, rocky sort of things. Now we're going to blow dry this and add some other colours to it. I'm going to fix that up, it looks like shit. Get something up there, you dickhead. Put something about here. What's that look like in the monitor? There we go, it's a bit probably want some hanging over the edge too, eh? Yeah, that'll do. And a bit more there. I'll tell you what. Alright, I'll dry that. Let's turn that off. Yep. Now I need some black in there, I reckon. Oh no, that'll be alright. That'll do it, mate. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah. Better turn this other camera off. Okay. Put this on. Okay, I'll just sort of grab it down here in the corner. Be sure to look at the links in the description below. And all my tutorials are for sale. And there's one for my art group page. You can follow me on Facebook. And there's one for my Patreon if you want to support my content, okay? Hit the thumbs up and share my work. Okay, here we go, whack a frame on there. Yeah, that don't look too shabby now, does it, eh? We've got our nice sky horizon going back far there. We've got a Thai island here with their beach 
bit of rocks and doodars in the water there, all right? Sunlight, that'll do it. Let's let night in. Okay, let's. Is that on or off? No, it's on. Okay, this is taking ages. All right, I hope you like what you've seen today. If you have, tell your friends. But if I've offended you and you don't like what I'm up to, you tell everybody, all right? All the best. Goodbye, good luck, and good on you. What I do here is put the video on and stand back and just move around posing for different thumbnail shots or photo shots and I can scan through it and try and find the perfect shot without me eyes half winked or you know those ugly shots you get every now and then. That's what I love what you're doing. I'll make it look like I'm stepping out from behind a picture there. Alright, something happened. What's this say? What's that say there? An update for Microsoft. No, I don't want no update. Bugger all. All right, that's it. That, that's it. I better try this one. Okay, that was filming of this tutorial. You got a bit of behind the scenes, what happens when I'm in here on my own, how I'm functioning everything and getting everything happen. Now all that will be edited together so it'll look like one flowing show, okay? Hey, you like what I did today? Tell your friends if you did, but tell everybody if you don't, all right? Goodbye, good luck, and good on ya.